Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about where and how our settings are applied to either an individual brush, to a group of brushes, tools, or media, or if they're going to apply to the entire program, every brush, and every single tool. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So here in the Properties panel, we have some of the same settings as in the Brush Creator. You can see here we have Reset Brush, Save Changes as Default, and Save as New Brush. Right over here, we have these same options. We have a couple more options. Show sliders. We can choose to show things that may not be shown by default because they're not typically used with that type of media. Or we can choose what characteristics are saved inside of the specific brush. So one of the neat things about working inside of Rebel 4 is that you can choose what is remembered by the brushes. So if we change this size, in opacity, we go over here and we come back, you're going to see it remembers this setting. And it remembers it specifically because we have this turned on right here, save volumes and paint mode into brush preset. Now we can click right here and reset it back to where it was before, a size of 50 and an opacity of 100. If we go right here and we choose don't save and we slide this over to one and one, we switch to spray two and we come back, you're going to notice that 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 temporary switch we did was lost because we told it, don't remember. Now this is per brush. So that means that this setting itself, remembering to remember or remembering to forget is part of what is saved inside the brush. And this is really key because this can be very confusing if you don't understand this concept. So pay very close attention You're right here. So we're going to choose to save volumes. So 50 and 100, we go over here. And we come back, let's adjust it back to one. We go here and we go back here and it remembers it. Now, if we want it to remember our paint modes as well, then we can choose this option here, save volumes and paint modes. That's these right here. Let's say I want this brush labeled spray to always be an eraser every time I switch to it. If I have this toggled on to save volumes and paint modes, then that's going to remember this is an eraser because I set it to that. So let's put this back to paint. When we come back here, it will switch again to erase. It's important to note that right here, line smoothing, this is a universal property. That means that across the entire program, this is gonna be the same for everything. So if we switch here between all of our different tools, you're gonna to notice that the positional smoothing, the pressure smoothing and the pressure sensitivity stay exactly the same. If we change it for one, we change it for all. We also have settings inside of edit preferences here inside a tablet. You can adjust pen pressure smoothing. Notice that this setting right here is the same as the one inside of line smoothing. So if I set this over here to firm, click OK, you notice that this one right here changed as well. These are the same settings, the same universal settings as in preferences. All of the settings that we make inside of the brush creator are going to be specific. They're going to be local individual settings for just that brush. So if you want to adjust all of the airbrushes here, all of them, the size at the same time, then turn all of these two off. Don't save volumes. Don't save volumes. Don't save volumes. And now when I adjust this to 78, it'll be 78, 78 on all of these ones that I've set to not save the volumes. Now here, you're going to notice this one is saving the volumes, and so it has a different size that it remembers. If we change something over here, and we'll get into this in the next video, this is going to be only for this individual brush. Here you can control inside the properties panel. You can control multiple brushes at the same time, the size, opacity, pressure, volume, loading, wetness, oiliness, all of those you can control and have it set to either remember it's for a specific brush or adjust all the properties in that media or tool panel. Or you can change system settings like here in line smoothing that affect everything across all media. In the next video, we're going to be talking about shape and grain and how these can be applied to give you really cool different brush tips and heads. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.